Welcome to Desi Astro and in this Python tutorial you are going to learn about how to fit a Gaussian uh, distribution function on a histogram. So you can see that this is like blue is like your distribution of uh, data and your uh, line is your fit to this uh, data points as a Gaussian. So the Gaussian has a function of fx and it has like uh, sigma is your deviation and mu is your uh, mean and it has some amplitude 1 by sigma root 2 pi so let's see how to fit this uh, 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 gaussian curve to this histogram so let's uh, start okay so for do that you need to import some libraries so import library for that we can import numpy import numpy as np and it will take care of your array then for plotting you can import import mat mat plot leave dot pi plot as plt and so this is for plotting And then you can use uh, import scipy. So from scipy dot optimize import curve underscore fit. So for that, so this will used for curve fitting now this much we have done now you need to define your x data and and data for distribution so for that uh, what we will do we'll uh, recall data so you can give data equal to your say np dot random and you can also like import your random module if you want so import import uh, random module so this is, is for your random number generation and then you type here rand in is number and you can give say you want your uh, thousand uh, uh, numbers so this will do now if you print it data so you can see that here you have a bunch of numbers not once uh, thousand numbers and uh, and plot it histogram so plot histogram so for that give command say in and then bins that how many uh, partition it has and then passage okay then pass your data and also root 2 here uh, equal to hist mm, hist so here p passage is equal to plt dot hist and then give your data then you can give your bin size so bin is equal to you can give say 20 and run it okay so here you can see that you have a beautiful uh, distribution of your data points you can also change its color if you like color and you can give it say red okay so here it is and you can also give it uh, age color if you want so yes color is color equal to you can say black okay now good green okay so now you want to fit it you can check it what are your uh, your n is this that your how much is like your uh, how much is like height of your y you 
can see that six then maximum is your say 120 and then you can give beans so beans is your this that from uh, which this uh, you can go i mean like what is the range of this vertical columns and this way okay so now you have to fit this histogram okay so for fitting histogram what uh, you need to do you need to uh, define your gaussian function as above okay so uh, then define your gaussian say define gauss you can give your any name as per your choice it is like user user word and then you give your say you want to give your say x x uh, axis your amplitude your uh, mean and your sigma okay so this will take this variable and now you want to return your function now we want to return your function so for that type return and then give your expression in this style so amplitude into np dot exponential and then minus then x minus mu mu is your mean and all rest goes to its whole square then then it's uh, divided by divided by your 2 into sigma whole square so this function will return this uh, uh, expression now you can also define your x so x you can define say uh, you can define from uh, the whole range of your x axis you can check it from my 3 to 3, to 3. so you can say np dot uh, linear space and then from minus 3 to 3 and say and then you can give your 20 to 20 numbers as your bin size is 20 okay so now fit here fit the fit the curve now curve or may you can say histogram in our case now so for that uh, give command popt so popt stands for optimized parameter and p covariance stands for your covariance matrix so uh, this will give your amplitude uh, mean and sigma and covariance matrix will give your error uh, okay so for that give this and type curve fit curve fit and pass your say your uh, gauss function and then you have x data and and your y so here you want to make your y equal to n okay so this will do the job and you can also pass your some uh, initialized par parameter so say p0 p0 and you can pass parameter say you can uh, give 120 to your uh, amplitude and you can give mean equal to 0 and then you can give sigma equal to say 2 okay so let's run it okay now see what is popt okay so you can see that here is your optimized parameter and you can also check for your peak covariance okay so this is your like 3 cos 3 matrix and its diagonal element gives uh, error so basically you have to take a square root of your diagonals to find errors in those okay so 
POPT optimize parameter and now fit this curve now plot plot the fitted gaussian curve so for that type command plt dot plot now you have x and then you have say your Gaussian function we call it give x and pass your optimized parameter as a star popt so a star means basically it uh, takes all parameters uh, in a uh, single command and you can also give your say color equal to you can give say red now run it what is a mistake uh, colored okay so this will be r now run it okay so here you can see that you have a gaussian fit to this uh, histogram okay so this way you can fit your histogram with a gaussian profile and find its uh, mean its uh, uh, okay so pure pt so this will be like your mean this will be your uh, uh, sorry this will be your amplitude this will mean this is your sigma okay so pure pt zero this will be your uh, amplitude pure pt uh, pure pt one this will be your uh, mean and mu or pure pt two will be your sigma okay so and you can check it all these values okay so you can you can go by this way POPT and you can type it say print print this will do the job now you can see that you have your mean uh, your uh, you can call it say mean and this is your sorry this is your amplitude your amplitude and will be your error in amplitude and this error one 
so this will be in the mean error mean error and 2 will be say sigma error okay so here you have printed all the error parameters so i hope uh, right now you will have a clear idea that how to fit a gaussian to the histogram uh, data points so here is a quote and you can see that i have imported some libraries uh, then plotted histogram with the random numbers and then we have fitted curve with sci-fi with optimized parameter and plotted it and finally we have this uh, distribution plot with optimized parameter uh, popt here is your amplitude mean and sigma for the fitted curve so thank you